Good morning, you beautiful humans. It is 24 minutes past eight. I have six minutes to get the kids out of here and I thought, you know what, I'll pick up a camera, why not? When you're in a real rush, what should you do? You should talk to your online friends. My name's Emma, stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. Um, what I'm doing today is thus. First of all, Stephen cut my hair. It's very short, isn't it? I think he did an all right job and I did dye it. I can't remember from the last video I was saying I needed to, anyway. Hair cut and dyed at home. Um, today I am popping to do some Christmas shopping with my friend Jocelyn. So we are meeting at the Fort in Birmingham which is like a little shopping centre in a different part to where I live. And it has got a Primark and I saw on my friend Roshin and my friend Beth's Instagram that there's some Christmas bits in Primark and I thought, you know what, I'll pop in some Disney bits. It is quite a small Primark in the scheme of Primarks, so there might not be that much stuff, we will see, uh, but we are due to be going to Disneyland, which I'll talk a, bit, a little bit later when I've got a bit more time, Disneyland Paris. So I thought I'd go and see if there's any Christmas bits and bobs, um, have a little look at what they've got on offer, Fingers crossed they might have some, and if not, at some point I will go to the big Primark, because Birmingham has the world's biggest Primark. It's what we're very proud of. <laughs> Alison Hammond and the world's biggest Primark. Two of the most famous things. Oh, UB40 as well. And Ozzy Osbourne. We've got them, we've got them all. And, and Noddy Hole, oh, yeah, we've got them all! So I thought I would have a little look. I'm going to get the kids at the house and ready to go to school. Erin has got swimming today, so she has to remember to be in the swimming kit. It's swimming every day. It's either Ethan's euphonium, which she's doing very well at, which is like um, a small tuba, if you didn't know what one of those was. I didn't, till he came home with one, unexpectedly. Erin has swimming. They have pee, but on different days, so you just have to, like... Last night, I dropped Erin off at Scouts, because she does Scouts. Um, six of the Scouts turned up with a hammer, and I was like... Said to Ethan, I was like, I think we've forgotten a hammer. So I reckon I need, I think I need to start doing like a mum list of stuff or shoving post-it notes on my forehead. Right, I've talked for two and a half minutes, which means I've got three and a half minutes to get at the house. I will see you when we get to the fort. Right, um, I just thought I'd show you this. Stephen has made our side tables. And um, for the first time in our adult life, they're like, um, uh, like, we, I mean, and we, as I say every week, ignore the carpet. Stephen made these. It's like it, I can't. It's not wicker. I can't remember what the word is. But for the first time in our adult life, we have matching side tables. And every time I've ever done some sort of bedroom tour, people have been going, "Where's the two side tables?" So we've got matching side tables. So the start of the bed room makeover is beginning. Will the bed ever get made? Unsure. Will we ever get carpet? Unsure. Am I wearing red tights with a red dress? Not sure of this look, also unsure. Right, gotta go. I've come to the Disney bit and they have got some nice new little Disney bits here. I can see a Christmas jumper. This bag is very cute, it's 12 pound. That, with a pair of leggings, would be, oh, that'd be really nice to travel in. Wouldn't it? Look at that. It looks massive though. That's, that's a medium. These pumps are really cute. It's kind of like a different Mickey that I've seen before. Jumpers, really nice. What else have they got? Oh, this rucksack's lovely as well. Very lounge fly style. And then another cute little jumper. We've got some Christmas stuff. Happy holidays. A little Mickey jumper. Um, have they got it in my size? We ask ourselves. I don't know. I'll have a little look when I put the camera down. Looking like large as is. Is that an? Oh, that's a different top. But that's quite cute. Oh my gosh. This cardigan is. Lovely. I'm not sure that would suit me though. What else have we got? Oh, presents first. 
little hoodie. That's really nice as well. I could perhaps get that. I do tend to prefer things with Mickey on rather than Minnie. That's just me. They've got a lot of those. Um, what was this one? Let's move this jacket. What's this? Oh, I like this. Oh, I'm definitely going to get this one. That's really, really cute. I might get that um, and get them for the kids as well. That's really cute. They're lovely. I really like this. I really like this range. I think I've shown it before. This Walt Disney World jumper is brilliant. Um, again, that look fab with leggings. That one's nice. I'm not a huge fan of cropped things. Oh, I really like that one as well. What's it on the front? Oh, I like that one. That's really nice. They've got quite a lot of stuff here. These are really cool. I reckon, um, oops, a daisy maisie. <laughs> That's what I say. That's such a mum thing to say. I think my girl would like that, but that is a 2XS. Look how huge it is. It's white. It's looking a bit yellow on the camera. But yeah, they've got a lot of Disney stuff. We've got lots of like, oh, that's a nice jumper as well. Like hoodies, that's a cute one. A lot of Disney stuff in here. I wonder if they've just had it all restocked. And that's a really nice one. I'm gonna pop upstairs now and see if they've got any of the Christmas, Disney Christmas decorations, but a lot of stuff down here. So I am gonna come and get some stuff in here and what I'll buy I will show you when I get home. But yeah, I'm very impressed. Just noticed they've got some really cute slippers, which are good for like stocking fillers or like presents. They're really, I really like those ones, they're really nice. These Winnie the Pooh ones, are, oh my gosh, how snuggly, but I think. Let me know in the comments if you would wake up in a hot sweat if you were wearing them. Snuggly, but maybe a bit too much for me. I've come to the bit where I thought they might have the Christmas decorations and I can't see any but they've got loads of like really nice gifts. They've got Winnie the Pooh sets. Um, oh, this calendar's nice. nice. Whoops! <laughs> Drop everything, pick all that up in a bit. Um, that calendar would be nice there and they've got loads of stationery in here. Loads and loads and loads pens and all sorts of things and these are the kind of things if you're going to the parks they'd be in the parks but you can buy them here for cheaper and take them with you so hmm all very cute i have noticed a 12 days advent calendar with stitch on i have no idea what's in it it doesn't say do we think it's stationery i have actually already got her in a, an advent calendar so she doesn't really need one there's loads of um there's loads of stitch stuff, loads of pads, um, photo album, which might be quite a nice idea for her. And obviously if you've got Marvel fans, um, they've got Marvel bits in here as well. Back home, that was a bit disappointing. So they did have some Christmas stuff in, I asked at the till, when are you getting the rest of the Christmas stuff in? And I mean, a bit nicer than that. I wasn't like that, when are you getting it? I was just like, excuse me. Could you imagine me just shouting Christmas stuff now? And the lady didn't know, but they did have like the Christmas jumpers in, the Disney Christmas jumpers in. So that's the four. I'm definitely going to go to the big, the big old Primark soon. Not sure when. Um, going into town, which is what we call the city centre, is a little bit, it's a bit of a hassle. Um, so it will be at some point. I will let you know when. I did pick up some little bits and bobs though, so I thought I'd do like a real quick um, a little mini haul. I'm trying to work out where I can rescue. I'm going to see if you're here and I'm going to see if that's really dark. That's not too bad, is it? I'd just like to say you're in front of where um, Stephen keeps all his treats. So Stephen's treats consist of, we've got twirls, we've got protein bars, we've got Gadbury this. Winter Wonderland edition. Very in the mood. So here's some of the stuff I got from Primark. Um, uh, if you're new here, my little girl's birthday is approaching in 
month and a half or something. Um, so I've got her some bits and pieces. So for the first thing I picked up, she's obsessed with Stitch. She loves Stitch. We all love Stitch. Stitch and Angel, five meters wrapping paper, £1.50. I'm hoping that they do some festive wrapping paper. That would be lovely. And if so, I will be purchasing. I got her a little Stitch gift bag for, oh, got a Starbucks stick on it um, for a one pound to put one of her very special presents in which I will tell you in a minute in fact I'll tell you now so um, she's getting because she's approaching the age of going to secondary school and I really want her to get used to having a mobile phone before she goes to secondary school because having a mobile phone is a really big responsibility so what I have done is I've got the screen fixed on one of my old iPhones and made it all nice. So should we get one of my old iPhones because I think it's an iPhone 6 because um, I, I have no idea because we've not really done it. But I imagine that maybe it might get broke or smashed and if she smashes the front of the phone she's going to have to earn pocket money to pay for it. That's what the rules are going to be. But that's going to be like her main um, birthday present. So I got her a um, stitch like pop socket. I got her a USB cable for her bedroom. That's one meter. That was £3.50. That was £2.50. And I also got her... Um, and I'll show you when I, can, when I get to it. Where are, where are you little things? Oh, now I'm wondering if maybe I left some think. I'll show it you in a little bit. I got her a phone case as well that I'm hoping fit. It says iPhone 6 on it. I don't know. Because we're on iPhone 13 now, aren't we, in the real world? For both of the kids, I got two jumpers. And they're going to be... Um, they're going to be... Might be might, I might have to give them... I'll have a think when I'm going to give them these. Maybe for Aaron's birthday, I might wrap one up. I was used to usually give Ethan a present, I might wrap one up with him. But I thought they could actually like share them. So for the kids, I get a 2XS and they tend to fit. I thought that was app, that was such a nice jumper. Eight pounds. These jumpers are always really soft. They wash well. So I thought that would be great for Disneyland Paris. That was a really nice one. I got this for me. It says Happy Holidays with Father Christmas Mickey. And this was £16. I did not get, I, I was considering getting us all matching ones. And then I thought, I don't know if £16 is quite a lot of money for little kids' Christmas jumpers. Maybe I can wait to see if they've got something in the kids' range. But I thought that would be really nice for Disneyland Paris. Perhaps I would probably have black tights and um, probably have it over like a nice skirt you can even wear it with like a red skirt and I have got I have got a red skirt actually um from I think from not last Christmas the Christmas before this is another one I thought that they could share I really like this this is 2XS as well and this is £10 and um it's got a like pale brown Mickey up. I thought that'd be nice. So, not sure which one I'll give to who, but um, I will wrap those up and these will be nice and warm because Paris at Christmas is freezing. So, yeah, we are hoping to get, we've, had, we've exchanged this Paris holiday now. I think this is the fifth time we've had to keep moving it, obviously because of what's been going on in the world. So we've kept moving it and we are hopeful that we get to go this festive season we might not and as a family now we know that plans swap and change and the kids kind of like roll with those punches which I'm sure like a lot of your kids out there do so I've got those if we do go and if we don't go it's fine these will last these will last a two or three years so it will be fine and even if we even if we move Paris to February, it'll still be cold. Or if we move it till next October, it'll still be cold. So they will be worn at some point when I'm walking down saying bonjour to Mickey. Here's the phone case. 
is it going to fit? It says iPhone 6. When you're all cosy in bed, you still have to wash your face. That's literally my girl. So I thought that'd be really fun. And I'll pop it all in like that stitch bag. And then um, for a little, probably Christmas present, combined, these are three pound. I got some Stitch and Angel notepads. And then this was three pound. This is great for three pound. This is a little stationery set. So that'll be one of the Christmas presents kind of popped together. And then I bought a present for our rats, our rat attack tats. So every week I clean out the rats and we put like, they have like a little house. I don't show the rats in here because I always get complaints because people are very scared of rats, which I did not know. And then I put them on social media and then everyone was really cross with me. So every time they, I clean out the hat cage every Saturday and they have like this little house and I put like a microfiber cloth in the house they cannot like, snuggle up in it and i picked these stitch ones up and these are only two pound four so this will keep them going a while and for them to like have a little snuggle up they snuggle they sleep together it's so cute maybe i will put them in one and maybe i won't do it today but maybe i'll put them in one and i'll do like a trigger warning so people can fast forward through the rat action i don't think that's a phrase i've ever said online before fast forward through the rat action <laughs> but there you go so there we go just a little bit of disney christmas oh my do i show you do i show you do i show you ask the curtain shall i show them yeah show them i did i went to costco um because i have the costco card out of all my friends i have a costco card and then my friends are now one by one going Fancy taking us to Costco. And I'm like, yeah, you can come with me because you can have a plus one. I need to start leaving my purse at home because every time I go, I'm like, oh, never seen that before. So I got some Christmas presents for the um, Kiddly Winks and also birthday presents. I got some really good ones. Let me know if you ever want me to do like a gift guide of ideas for like tweens or anything like that. I picked up the new JK Rowling book and... Um, just some bits and bobs. I'm gonna show you. Right there. So, when I got my Disney Halloween Mickey, should I get him to show you? Run, run, he's coming. He's coming. Or my nanny Joyce used to say, when we used to ding the doorbell, she'd be like, oh, it's coming. When I got him, who is the actual love of my life, and he doesn't need to worry. Because when Halloween is over, he is going to live in my office as a year-round installation. Because he's my favourite of all the Mickeys. Halloween Mickey's my favourite. Favourite Mickey by far. I love it. He's cute. There's a pumpkin. When I got him, some of you are like, do you know there's... They come out with a Christmas Mickey and I was like, I didn't know this. <sighs> Think you know what's coming? Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I picked up old, look at it, old Saint Mick. It's another Jim Short Disney, Disney Traditions. Loved it, picked him up. I like to Google, I like to Google. I couldn't find him online. I find these quite hard to find online. Um, but they had a lot of Disney Christmas decorations and they were all about 20 quid cheaper than Sanders. So I got him. He's going to live in his box until November the 1st, where I shall let him out. And then for the rest of the year, him and Vampire Mickey shall live together. I will say, they've got slightly different faces. I would say this looks like a toddler Mickey and the other one looks like a grown-up Mickey. But yeah, <laughs> I was with my friend 
and she was like, is there anything you're looking for today? And I was like, no, you know, just happy to be here with you. And there's a couple of Christmas presents that I know that the kids really want, so I'll, I'll grab those. So, but obviously, if we see, um, if we see a Disney Mickey, Christmas Mickey, I'd have to get him. We were right in the corner. He was there. They also had a Nutcracker, Mickey and Goofy. I thought, no, I'm going to stick with the same ones. Please tell me they don't come out with new ones every year because that is going to be an expensive hobby. I think I just need to stick to the, with these two. And then you know what? When I have grandkids, they maybe can have one each from me. Thinking a bit far ahead really, aren't I? But that is the way I work. So yeah, there we go. A little bit of a teeny weeny Disney Christmas sneak peek. I will pop to Primark again and do a proper good old mooch around thanks so much for subscribing i hope you enjoyed this video i know i promised a home bargains of bnm video is going to come and it is going to come soon i'm hoping to go on monday this is up saturday i'm hoping to go monday so you will hopefully see something on wednesday fingers crossed or in the next week or so i love you lots uh, i'm now going to spend some quality time with old saint mick and vampire mick and i'll see you soon This time.